Hey guys, MGH here. Welcome back to my AS Monaco career mode series and this one is not live. We're not doing this one live. I thought I'd do something different to power my way to the uh, the January transfer window because obviously I've just got a ton of games coming up. There's literally like two games uh, like on and off all the time and it's um, it'll take so long to do it with live commentary to get through that. So I thought uh, what I do in the next kind of like, well, three, four episodes maybe is kind of just get through as many games as I can with just goal highlights and things like that. Um, so you guys see every single match that I'm playing, even if they are simmed or whatever, which I'm, I'm trying not to sim, by the way, guys. I want to play most of these matches. Um, we've got a game against Valencia in here. This is going to be a very nice game because uh, let me tell you this, right? The next two minutes is completely live, uncut gameplay because I just got, I got a really good start to this game. Falcao is still injured. I've got Insigne up front still. And I did mention a few episodes ago that actually I'm finding it difficult to to have a reason to put Falcao back in the team when I've got Insigne there because he's been impressing me that much. He's just so, so, so good up front. Here he is down on the right wing here. I just, I don't know what it is about him. Let me know if you enjoy playing with Insigne as well. I don't normally like those really small, weak players. But there's something about him, the way he's so pacey and so agile. He kind of just like walks past defenders, like literally just kind of, you know... <laughs> I, I want to say jumps through them. He kind of like jumps in between each feet, each foot, sorry. And d d just doesn't fall over. He's just so hard to tackle. Um, but he can see we're in the eighth minute now and we get very lucky with a rebound there for Nasri. And it just bounces perfectly. It's so perfect. It really is. When you see this re replay, the ball is literally planted right on his laces. It's so lucky. Look at this. Bang. Look at that. <laughs> It was an absolutely beautiful finish as well into the top right corner. And that makes it 1-0 in 10 minutes. But we're not cutting. It's going to happen again. Will it be me or will it be them that scores? Who knows? Um, and can I just say as well that I'm, I'm really, really sorry about the last episode, guys. Because um, a lot of people were complaining that I was complaining a lot in the episode. What I will say is that day I was extremely grumpy. I wasn't in the mood to be playing FIFA, to be honest. I wasn't. You know, we all have bad days, right? We all have the bad day at the office. I really wasn't in the mood to play that game. Um, but I did, and I did complain quite a lot. I watched it back and just thought, Jesus, Matt, <laughs> lighten up. And what a goal, by the way, from Moutinho. Just absolutely hammers that one outside the box. And again, a lucky rebound. But yeah, I just wanted to apologise, guys. I know I complain a lot about this game because of obvious things that not only I think, but a lot of other people think as well. You know, things that are out of your control. It may or not be, it may be or it may not be true. But either way, it is very frustrating when uh, you, 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 you know, spend so much time on a game. And I, I put hours and hours into getting gameplay for episodes on my YouTube channel and stuff. And when things don't go your way, you can get pretty angry, pretty frustrated. And that is exactly what happens. So I uh, hope you forgive me. I, I will try my best not to get angry like that again. Um, but I let it get the best of me on a bad day. I was in a, a really crappy mood. Um, but anyway, back on to more positive things. I've got Zaha in the squad for this match as well. I was playing him out on the left wing. He is more of a right winger and I do prefer him on the right wing. But the beauty of having him on the left is this. He's able to actually cut inside here and just smash it on his right foot. It's a really, really nice finish that. I do remember a goal he scored in League 2 last year where he hit it literally straight at the keeper. And I thought, man, this guy's got really poor finishing. But that proved me wrong. That was a really nice finish. And we get a 3-0 victory there. Three beautiful goals as well. Really nice goals. A bit lucky on the first two, but we'll take it. And can I just say there, there was a picture of da uh, David Luiz cheering there. What a player he is. He is so good in this game. And I know we all know that, but I've never used him in a career mode before. My God, he's just as overpowered in career mode as he is in Ultimate Team. Such a powerhouse. Great in the air as well. Now, this, this game is very important. St. Etienne are doing very well in the, in the table at the moment. And at this point of playing, I believe they were first, actually, or maybe second. And I was, I think, sixth. Um, I should have actually included an image of the table, but I absolutely forgot to. I'm sorry, guys. And uh, Ben Arthur has scored a great goal in the 36th minute there. A bit of a sweaty one, but it is a really nice finish because of the power. It, it, the ball came in so quickly and uh, he was able just to tap it in. Sometimes they can go incredibly wrong like you saw with Nasri in uh, one of my recent episodes where I crossed it in and he just completely missed the target. It was really embarrassing. Um, but St. Etienne, wow, they are a pretty decent team. They've got Aubameyang, Aubameyang up front and he's currently top scorer in the league. So I'm trying to overtake him with Falcao or Insigne. Um, Zaha's got a couple, Nasri's got a couple of goals and I absolutely love Nasri in this career mode, he's absolutely incredible and uh, oh my god, <laughs> welcome guys to my career mode because that is my classic defending, I don't contain, 
I, I always jockey. I, I never, ever contain in this game. And I went through a phase during my Arsenal career mode where I tried to learn it. And my defence really did step up. I was not conceding goals. But I just find that I can't keep doing it. I, I always seem to forget and go back to my old ways and jockey. And that cost me three points there. I almost beat saint at their home ground, which would have been a really great victory. But we only got the 1-0, unfortunately. And now it's a game against Toulouse, who I wouldn't say are, you know, going to be up in the top four. But they're definitely a mid-table team, maybe just a little bit higher. Um, don't forget, we got Sissoko from them as well. I know Sissoko's at Newcastle, but because I had custom squads, I couldn't really update them. But there, I don't know if you saw that, but look who's playing as striker. We've got Falcao back, guys. It's about bloody time. He's been out injured for a, a month or two now. Really missed him. Even though Insigne's been great, I wanted to see what Falcao's like again. And this happened straight away. Falcao with an amazing header. And let me just say this. Falcao is back. He is back, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be the title of this video. And this game proves how good he is. He is a 90-rated striker. He's not 90 for no reason. He is one of the best headers in the game, or he has one of the best headers in the game. Hederuz isn't a word, is it? I think AA9 Skills had a problem with <laughs> in his series. Um, but yeah, Fal Falcao is well and truly back. I mean, here again, look at that. It is just overpowered. There's no other word for it. Against really good centre-backs, maybe not world-class, but a good centre-back there for Toulouse. And he just completely destroys him in the air. Look at that. Not only that, the header is like perfect. It is, it is put in the roof of the net there where the keeper just cannot get to it. And Sissoko using that power, that absolute force. And I decided to get sweaty here just to get Falcao the hat-trick. It was an easy enough goal. And look at that, 35 minutes back from his injury and he's got three goals already. He is overpowered, he really is. And I don't like using the term overpowered, but Falcao in front of goal, I, I want to say is the best finisher in the game. He scores almost everything for me. I'm sure Messi would do the same. But when you think about Messi in like in heading, heading situations, he's not very strong. And this, now, this goal from Cuyate, I'm not sure if it's better than Falcao's goals. But tell me what you think in the description, not, not in the description, the comments below, guys. Look at this, the way he chests it, just cushions it and hits it on the volley. Look at that. I've got a, a replay for you guys because it's that beautiful. Look at this. Doesn't even let it bounce. And it's just got a teeny bit of curl on it and it just got, goes inside the post there. That is probably the best goal of this game, right? Let me know what you think because uh, I'd be interested to see what you think, seeing as it is a defender as well. Um, but look at this. Now, if this happened to me when I was doing a live comm in the last episode, I think I would have broke my controller and kicked in my Xbox. Look at this. I cannot believe I just gave away a penalty. Did you even see it, guys? Did you see what I did wrong? I know some of you are probably going to pause it and go back, but there's no need. I've got a replay coming up again. Just look at this. They tuck it away. It's a good penalty, right? But this... According to a referee is a penalty. Watch this. I'm just running out of defence. I'm, I'm making the line straight and I bump into a, a bloody striker and he falls over. And that apparently is a penalty. Um, so we don't get the clean sheet, but we still win by three goals. And Falcao, what a return. He is going to be full of confidence for this next game against Stade Brest. Stade Brest. Uh, Brest. I said Brest, guys. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that one. I'm guessing it's Stade Brest or something like that. I really don't know. My French is awful. I think I've already mentioned it before in this series that I uh, I stopped French as soon as I could in school. I really didn't enjoy it. I just cannot do accents. I'm absolutely useless at it. Uh, my girlfriend's Swedish and she tries to teach me some Swedish names and it just it doesn't doesn't go down well. Not just names, but words in general. I just cannot do the accents on these uh, on these foreign languages and it's just something that I'm not good at and never will be. But anyway, what a goal from Sissoko. I bought him just because I really wanted to get Sissoko in a career mode. I've always wanted to get him in my Arsenal career mode as well, but uh, I went for different players that had a bit more potential. And uh, to be honest, I wish I went for Sissoko now because although he doesn't have the best potential, he plays just like a, a, a I don't want to say a 90 rated midfielder, but he doesn't feel just like a, you know an 80, which he is at this point. And uh, Ben Arthur, by the way, what a signing he's been as well. Just confirmed my uh, my promising thoughts of him. You know, I really thought he would be one of the best signings I've ever made. I love Ben Arthur in this game because he's not just pace. You know, he's got so much of everything. His passing is out of this world. And he's a good finisher as well on that left foot. And uh, he helps us get the 2-0 victory. And that is going to wrap up the gameplay of this episode, guys. That is four games crammed into one. Lots of highlights there. 
Um, we did get an injury during that match. Samir Nasri is going to be out for four weeks, which is a bit of a downer, but it's not that bad. Four weeks, we'll use Barazite instead or Zaha out on the left and bring uh, Rodriguez into the middle. And uh, there you can see we have actually climbed above Saint Etienne. We've climbed above Saint, um, Marseille, stayed Renes. We are in second place behind PSG, so we are well and truly up there. When we play PSG, what a game that's going to be, and that'll be up soon. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Please do hit that like button, and I'll see you tomorrow for another episode.